Good morning, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. So, I am currently one week post show, and we're going to do a little bit of an update on kind of my prep, my off season, uh, what where, what kind of the the goals are for this off season, kind of recapping over the progress that I've made over the last 12 months. He was probably going to delve into kind of how that's also been done. Um, from his perspective, I'll kind of give a little update on my perspective, but they'll probably be the same. So if you hear us say the same things, I apologise. Um, but yeah, today is Sunday, the 24th of October. So yes, exactly one week post show. I am three kilograms up from my stage day weight and it's kind of fluctuated a, a, around that kind of up by half a kilo down back down to 63 kilos i'm actually really happy with the condition that i'm at and um, i actually posted a picture of all of that on my uh instagram i i did them on the self timer today because i didn't have photographer um so <laughs> so I, I don't think that the pictures show everything because yeah self time makes it a little bit blurry so maybe next week Kuba will take them for me at the same time as we take his um just so that you can actually see them a little bit better but I will look to do the update of those via my Instagram every two weeks so that you get a clear picture that plus all of the kind of juicy details that people like to know um kind of specific diet and supplementation etc will be kept on my log at trainbyjp.com and um, so you can obviously sign up to that and have a little look over what we're doing on there and um, but yeah today is sunday uh, we both finished all of all the majority of work that we need to do so we can be athletes now and um, leading into kind of our session which will be hamstring day and we will get you that too but yeah i'm gonna go now so the next time we talk it will probably be cuba hey everyone so meg's check-in check-in day and today we're going to break down meg's first check-in uh, with myself this morning and firstly i want to go through the pictures which meg will bring up here and do a little voiceover whilst i'm talking so firstly, um, the front relaxed. I definitely feel like her physique has got a lot more balance now as previous, previous off-season, previous prep. Her quads were certainly overpowering. Right now we've got the balance perfectly well. I definitely still feel like we need a little bit more adductor and overall density and size uh, everywhere pretty much as that is pretty much the goal for this year is to get a lot more density and size everywhere and obviously still a little bit more glute development I feel like is needed um, it's something that she has always always struggled with and it has come up quite significantly this year as you could see from the glute shots that she has been posting which are incredible um, but nevertheless macros first and foremost Meg will pop these up here uh, for you all to see in detail uh, predominantly the first increase uh, was done through the means of fats as we do run makes fats very low during her diet uh, that is her preference and performance wise again I'm a firm believer that you should give your body what you will perform of the best and that is always carbohydrates um, that's a fact um, if you can withstand the hunger on low fats then do so because you will perform much better um, and you will likely feel much better in the gym so that is the goal for ourselves always uh, so first bump up was always from fats and fats wise we're not really going to go any higher than this throughout the off season which at the moment uh, it's around half a gram per kilogram of her body weight if we need to mate bump it up a little bit but it's not going to go any higher than this if i'm totally honest with you um, so that's the first bit of nutrition and obviously nutrition wise as you can probably see from her diet uh, it's predominantly, you know, the carbohydrates that she likes. So a little bit of addition to bread and addition of carbohydrates to her last meal. Uh, but apart from that, her carbs haven't increased 
that significantly it should have been predominantly fats and she does have a little bit more protein in there as well um, so second bit training obviously Meg is still training with me um, training setup wise the setup will be slightly different to mine obviously mine is structured specifically to my needs uh, within my training through Luke however Meg's training it will differ slightly with a lot of different exercise selection and certain movements some sessions yes she will be able to do solo with me like one of the pull sessions she can do uh, with me but again we are going to be training together however it's just some of the movements um, that she specifically will need uh, that I will be adjusting in her training so again you know mainly the reason why she moved up to figure was so we can actually train together anyway as we knew if she stayed in bikini her training would have to go down to like two three times per week because she does grow pretty well and you know she's a big girl she likes to eat so we do like to off season well um and you know it's it's so much more enjoyable when you can do something together as well uh, i definitely feel like you know our sessions are much better and as you can probably see from training videos, I do not touch any of the weights. She loads them on for me and you know, that's her job. But my job is to make sure that I look after her from uh, all the ways that I do. Um, so, you know, I think we're both very grateful for the position that we are in. Uh, but more on the training cell. Today we have our hamstring session, which we will film. However, for Meg, it's more of a glute ham session, uh, predominantly rather than just a hamstring session. Um, I've got a lot of different movements in there. She's going to be doing slight different setups. So, for reference, her first movement, we're going to start with glute drive, three sets work, three working sets there, and then she will follow on with hamstring work and single leg leg press. Um, to be honest, we've got single leg leg press. Meg's going to do dual, um, as she doesn't really quite get on as well with single leg. But I will trial that and see, uh, and see whichever leg press we'd like to pick. Uh, we do have got a good prime leg press which is ideal for a hip dominant leg press so I think that will be the way to go after that uh, for her um, so she'll be starting with glute drive then seated leg curl she will do with us leg press she'll probably do outside of us on a different leg press uh, and then after that I will be doing 45 degree hyper extension today uh, and she will be doing um, B stance single leg RDL and she will be doing adductors and obviously I've got 45 degree hyperextension super serve adductor she's just simply going to be doing uh, one set of B stance RDL and then one set of adductor uh, and then that will be her baseline volume set for this session um, along with calves and abs after um, it's a great session we very much enjoy our setup uh, so training split it is the same as myself with obviously a little bit of changes uh, predominantly changes will be around her push sessions and around uh, the leg days and leg sessions uh, with Meg we need to be very specific with her leg training as well as her quads respond extremely well so the quad volume will be you know relatively lowish uh, but again with exercise selection um, I know exactly why exercise selection Meg needs to keep her knees healthy um, and keep her going so movements like cyber hack she will not be doing because it does nothing for her um, she will be doing a, a lot of the other movements that I will be doing but again the beauty of that is we're still training together and she will literally be you know a, an inch away from me whilst we train uh, which is absolute key so that is overall uh, overview of the training cell and a little bit more on her needs analysis and what we will be working on throughout the soft season I definitely think that she needs a lot more lower lat as well which exactly the same weakness as myself which is it's a blessing and a curse that we both have same weaknesses um, in a way it's a blessing because we can train together and a curse because we want to be better um, but overall I think physique wise what we have managed to, this, managed to do this year has been incredible and the next part is where we'll take you on and tell you how she gained 10 kilo of stage weight in one year and let me tell you guys it is not for everyone we will both admit that we are both coaches and we're both you know adapt to individuals needs and what Meg has done is certainly not something that a lot of people can do uh, and a bit of a shameless plug as well we are both wearing matching JP tracksuits um, <laughs> if you want to have a look um, you want Meg do you want to show the tracksuits yeah there we go it's just like a booby shot yeah <laughs> beautiful so we're going to show you the session 
Um, first, first now, not first. What we're gonna do first? First, we're gonna do the session. Uh, no, you're gonna talk. Oh, about I'm gonna how talk I about how you're getting ten kilo of stage weight. That's what you're gonna talk about. Am I? Okay. Oh, do you wanna do that later? Well, I was thinking I could do it at a coffee shop tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so we'll film the session first. Do you know what, guys? She'll probably present you with the how to, how she gained 10 kilo of stage weight somewhere in this video. Uh, we don't know just we don't know when yet, but we will. So brace yourselves, guys. We've had our pre-workout drinks, uh, which is 22 grams of prepare, the usual, um, and we're definitely ready to go. So just on the way in, time to get after it. Definitely my socks on as well. Let's go, come on. All day, come on, mate. Keep that position perfect. Good. Easy, come on. Come on. Good. Push yourself in, hold yourself in. Come on, tight. There we go. Good. Come on. Easy, come on. Drive it through, come on. Again. Come on, mate. Balls in the hole, come on. Back. Right foot on the floor, push yourself in. There we go. There we go, brace hard for your foot and your, your arms, come on. There we go.
Yeah. Don't go crazy. Let's go. There we go. So just finished at the gym for my first hamstring session post uh, competition. Um, it was very good. It was nice to actually start with a hip thrust because I haven't done hip thrusts for quite some time in our programming and I used to not be able to connect very well with a hip thrust basically because I had terrible form and now that I know how to do a hip thrust it actually felt very good. Um, the, the way that I've kind of taught myself how to do it more effectively or have Cooper help me is by doing some pre-session mobility stuff where we really focused on doing kind of the rolling hip bridge which you the, the focus is coming up and coming down vertebrae by vertebrae and I try to implement that into my hip thrust which allows me to keep the full focus on my glutes and obviously the hamstrings are there as well but it literally has no quad connection at all and I, obviously I am very quad dominant like they are the things that were the only thing on my physique last year that were prominent and now obviously the development has come through at the back of my legs and I feel like I'm still only just tapping into the way that I actually perform movements in my weak areas that I think that the progression this year can be far greater when I look down, when I look down I okay. think uh, the biggest the biggest cue that we had to use with Megs and another thing that we had to do is actually shorten her range of motion. That's the biggest error see people do with hip thrusts. So as you could see on the video there, her range of motion was quite short. And that's again working with the range of motion. The hip is again, it's a hip thrust. So we are trying to make sure that we don't take it past the range of motion. If your knees are traveling towards you, that is when are going to do very little work so you want to kind of keep it within that range where your knees stay in one place directly above your feet also a great cue to use within that is trying to curl your pelvis under you so as you're driving through really try and curl your pelvis under and almost contract on your abs yeah. um, as you can see meg meg's really going to nail down now and trust me the progress is there because the video where I, was, where I was filming her doing the single leg RDL I was like yeah it's coming um, but I know the potential that we have now with Meg just being able to nail down these movements and making sure that one she stays injury free and two we get movements nailed down that she can really connect with and again that is a task in itself because she is very unlike other people in many many ways so we kind of have to work around it yeah so on the the whole the session was very productive i felt like it was like kuba kept a, a hold back on um volume so take took away a few of my sets just to make sure that obviously i am nice and fresh in a couple of weeks and we actually fully hit the ground running with with 100 percent volume so obviously it's always beneficial having him there but no yeah I felt like the session was really good and um, with regards to the back of my legs I never actually thought that I could ever grow a glute a hamstring or a back as well and um, I just thought that genetically it wasn't ever gonna happen but it was literally just the way that I was training and I'm really excited I was really embarrassed last year backstage with the way that I looked I'll be totally honest this is 2020 we're talking about um this year i wasn't I, I felt confident i know i wasn't big enough and i know that obviously there's more muscle maturity needed to, to 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 be competitive but i wasn't embarrassed i was actually very proud and and i think that that showed on stage but i think that with another off season especially the back of the legs like they can be something special just like the front of the legs so i'm excited to show it and we will show you how we do it but yeah anyway we're going to go home we're going to eat some food and um, we might show you that i'm not too sure and um, otherwise the next time you see us Cobra will be talking about how i managed to gain 10 kilos of stage weight well pretty much 10 kilos not just not quite 9.7 to be exact <laughs> What is good everyone? So today we are covering exactly what I said we were going to do early on in the video in the car 
and that is how did Meg gain 10 kilo of muscle in one year and against contra belief yeah it wasn't done with supplementation she spent you know the whole year off pretty much off uh, from supplementation we didn't utilize it in prep so the main the main driving factor was actually pushing her body weight up and this year we did it with a much smarter approach to nutrition we haven't done what we've done in the past is push the calories up through you know garbage and calorie dense foods like burgers etc uh, we have done it with cleaner calories and we've done it with more calorie dense well carry with more foods that hold much better nutritional value so it hasn't been done through calorie dense foods like you know cookies and all the rest of it uh, which in itself has been a much harder task to do as you can imagine um, you know four to five thousand clean calories for a female which is what we pretty much got up to uh, I think it was pushing past five and a half thousand you know it's a hard task to get done and to be militant with it and be consistent with it year round without slip ups without you know taking the foot of gas that's exactly what's been done so when people wonder how did she do it first and foremost ultimate consistency and structure today she was militant with her structure and routine on a daily basis no meals were missed no sleep was missed no training sessions were missed she was literally like a robot year round and that's not realistic for everyone we all know this but at this level when you want to compete against the best in the world that is what's required unfortunately and you know unless you truly enjoy this sport and love it it's not something that i would expect from people and it's not something i would expect from majority of my clients but if you truly want to know how she did it i need to share this with you for you to be realistic and you know we cannot expect to be making progress like this without really really breaking down every single minute detail from your recovery from your nutrition from your sleep and applying yourself on a daily basis with ultimate consistency which what which is what was done so we really took her out of her comfort zone within her training and with her within her nutrition um, also this year was the first year where we actually trained together every single session so we knew that that would have a massive massive impact on not just her execution but in intensity as well and me being able to break down when she actually needs to pull back and when she needs to push within her recovery uh, parameters just being able to see how she is in the gym and how she performs which has been a massive massive help so that's something we will move forward with and continue with uh, throughout this year and again don't get me wrong there has been mistakes made like i always make like i always make a point of obviously mentioning within these videos uh whenever i'm breaking down my own progress or makes progress uh, yes arguably you know i think there was some points where we needed to pull back with nutrition uh, reset her metabolism well, well metabolism maybe reset her appetite not metabolism do not quote me on that that's just dumb um reset her appetite and then push forward again and obviously all that data that i've gathered will allow me to 100 percent um help her gain another 10 kilo of muscle mass if we need to for her to be competitive again uh, so in terms of a breakdown if you want to know the secret of how to gain 10 kilo of muscle the main thing is consistency the second thing is ticking every box with quality not just ticking the boxes not just getting calories in not just matching your macros quality matters and quality of ticking your boxes matters so your daily routine matters your meal timing matters your quality of nutrition matters all these minute details need to be paid attention to if you truly want to level up and make that kind of progress you know it's very easy to dismiss um, certain bits like if you don't feel hungry one day you'll just match your macros that's not good enough if you truly want to make elite progress just the way Meg did um, you know so you have to militate with your structure military with nutrition military with your recovery and training all these variables need to be perfect and as close to perfect as you physically can year round if you have a bad day that's okay we all have bad days but Meg I kid you not guys she was literally to the button year round even on the bad days and you know to be able to do that you have to truly have passion for this and I know for a fact that we can do this again we can repeat that again uh, within this year so the plan will be to come back and compete in 2023 um, now they've moved Olympia back to back end of the year that's given us opportunities to compete probably September October time in 2023 which is ideal time frame like I said I don't want to rush this process and I want to make sure when we both come back on stage um, we are competitive and we're not going to be out of the first call outs to do that we need a long time especially for Meg she's a female and we need to be sensible we need to make sure the approach we do take is is healthy 
and we do not push things so she you know she experiences a negative side effects that's not what we're going to do especially looking at this year's progress she hasn't noticed any any negative response whatsoever as you can see for yourself guys uh, from the comparison pictures her face doesn't change her hair still brilliant no no signs of falling out no signs of anything like that so i definitely think we have nailed it however there's always room for improvement and i believe we can always do better um that's the whole beauty of bodybuilding you know you can always improve up on what you are doing and you can always find better ways and that's exactly what we are going to do uh, we are going to be better we are going to bring a much better package an improved package and move forward with better execution across the board whereas right now the plans are set in motion um, i've definitely broken down everything what we're going to do moving forward and we are going to share the process with you guys this is why i would say it's our process and this is why you will see a lot more of Meg's videos on this channel as well, as we are both doing it together, like I mentioned to you uh, quite a while back. Um, and we do appreciate a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon as well and doing it together. Um, but that, that was our idea first and foremost quite a while back. So, you know, that, that train, that train's gone, guys. Uh, but on a serious note, you know, it, it was very impressive to watch and it definitely spurs me on and pushes me forward to be better do better and i know for a fact together we can continue pushing each other on to really level up and reach our goals that's that's all we've done for past two three years everything that was set out we have done and ticked off in terms of our goals and i believe we can do more and i believe we can do it um, hand on heart I know for a fact we will be in the first call outs the next time we step on stage in 2023 whether it's later on the year mid year whatever it is we will make it happen because we have got the drive to do so we've got the passion to do so and we've got the support network to do so as well with our sponsors obviously new garments from JP um, obviously with our gym Ultraflex uh, Rotherham you know we've got our whole network to do so um, so yeah I'm looking forward to it guys I'm looking forward to sharing the journey with you all and for now, take care and peace. Much more to come.